bad dolphin. Down in the depths of the deep blue sea, sweet friendly dolphins frolic happily. Gentle and kind, with smiley features, caring and lovely, such wonderful creatures. But wait, who is this? Lurking behind a reef, there's a glint in his eyes. He looks up to mischief. With teeth not so pointy, with eyes black and dark, this dolphin called Derek likes to joke he's a shark. He loves to play tricks, loves mischievous deeds, like choking whale with clumps of seaweed. He wrestles with octopus, ties him up in a knot, but he has no idea that it hurts him a lot. He loves to send starfish up to the night sky, one flip! of his flipper, and oh how he flies. But you wouldn't believe his favourite trick. That cheeky dolphin loves making kids sick. He catapults jellyfish, steals ink from a squid, then scribbles a sign, free jelly for kids. How he laughs and he grins when kids eat that jelly, then run to their mummies with a sting in their belly. He thinks he's so funny, but he laughs on his own. Nobody plays with him, so he's always alone. Then came the day when the seahorse turned eight. She sent invitations. The party was great. Derek, the bad dolphin, well, of course, he was barred. He'd not been invited, but he watched from afar. Wow, they all look so happy. I guess they don't like my jokes. He felt left out and lonely. Salty tears back, he choked. Well, I'm not wanted here. My time has come to an end. I led to the river to make some new friends. So he swam down the river where he met a strange fish with spiky white teeth, much sharper than his. This little fish looks lonely like me. Perhaps we can play and joke happily. Another, then another, a scary big shoal. Now he didn't quite feel like joking at all. We're feeling hungry, snarled the grinning piranhas. Time for a feast. We'll skin you like bananas. Derek swam for his life. His stomach was reeling. He felt oh so scared, such a horrible feeling. Still those awful fish chased him. They bit and they nibbled. Ouch! How it hurt, how he cried, how he dribbled. At last he escaped, but his heart was a sinking. He fled to a cave for some serious thinking. So if that's how it feels, to be scared and afraid, then it's time to make up for the mistakes I've made. I was joking, of course, but now I understand fully. The rest didn't like it. So I seemed like a bully. So Derek stopped all his jesting, apologised for his folly. He told everyone, I'm ever so sorry. Derek is no longer naughty. His mischief's come to an end. He's kind and he's happy. Now he's everyone's friend. The end.